The dumbest thing you can do during an arrest is attack a police officer. Just check and make sure you're okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. Someone oh, just checking on you. Yeah, man. Oh, you just hit me. There it is. Everyone knows it, but some criminals just can't help themselves and find out the hard way. Sir, I didn't do nothing. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Here are five times when dumb criminals try to attack cops. Demetrius Brinson. We begin in Valdosta, Georgia, where on May 28, 2022, officers were called by a manager at a family dollar store about a man who was suspected of shoplifting. When officers arrive at the store, they immediately recognize the suspect from previous theft cases. The man was identified as Demetrius Brinson. For a whole year. A year? Yes. That's how long a criminal trespass lasts. One whole year. That's crazy, man. And it's not crazy. You try to steal. Was, you're I, lucky I, you're not going to jail. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How is that crazy? No, sir. It's not crazy. 714 with officer. 2729 check. The name and date of birth. David Roundtree, 51988. Come here. I'm not done. I'm not going nowhere, sir. I'm not going nowhere. That man's trying to come back here, though. Hmm? That man's trying to get <laughs> Demetrius makes one bad decision after another, but he clearly thinks he can get away with it. So she called? A lady called on me? Earlier. No, I'm talking about this. This is your Stay right here. <laughs> sir, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Don't hit me. I'm not going to hit you. I didn't do nothing, though. Let, my, let, let it go. You want to let it go? But also 1080, we just fought outside of the store. He's heading towards Magnolia. He tried to take my taser. He's free for now, but the officers bring in the K-9 unit and start canvassing the neighborhood. Came out this way. I mean... That's what it looked like. I've been over to pick up my taser when I came up. I didn't have him. Where'd you go? Right here. Right here, this general area. I walked up to there. I walked up to right there and I stopped once I heard you on the radio. His shirt and everything is back here in front of the store. So he is shirtless now? Yeah. Just shorts? Yep. We are on the alleyway behind Family Dollar. Tracking. Jackson's on the ground. Oh, hey, stay up there. Stay. Stop. Stop. You just have somebody run through your yard. Before long, his cover is blown, and the officers get eyes on him. After the arrest, EMS is called to check out Demetrius and his distraught mother, who may be suffering from a panic attack. Are you okay? Did she know him or she just panicked? Oh, he just ran toward her. He okay, over. okay, calm down, baby. It's okay. It's okay. She had panic attacks or asthma? Huh? Does she have asthma or panic attacks? Yeah. Do you need for an ambulance to come check her out? Yeah, probably not. Okay. There's no use in doing it. No, we're not. Just breathe, okay? Just I got breathe. asthma. I'm just going to lean you up real quick. It's I can't breathe, sir. Oh, well, we got, e we got EMS coming. You need to sit up. You need to sit up. Come on. You need to sit up. Keep your legs still. Man. All right. Okay, we're gonna get you in the AC, okay? That's gonna help, all right? But we gotta have you help us. Water? Hold on, it's coming. Okay. Here we go, more water for you. Let's carry that out there. All right. Watch out. All of this could have been avoided had he not run from the officer, and now he's facing multiple charges. You're driving Keen's car? Yep. Okay. Here, we need to set you up and let you adjust your arms. Let me get this blood pressure, all right? 
After being given a clean bill of health, Demetrius was taken to the county jail for booking. They be like, how? How stupid? They been doing. I've been with these guys. They didn't took these off. I didn't went there. They didn't took them off and had me turn around and pee. Like, like what? I'm not trying to do nothing. Oh no! Every time somebody said that, they tried to do something. I'm not saying you're going to. I'm tired, bro. Like my body can't do. Shit. Mm -hmm. I got scar I got scars and cuts from my waist. Always so, my so, so you're saying you're not able to sit I'm up right, move, right, and move your. I'm good. I think we can just come in and tell them. I got this. I got okay. This. My answer's not going to change. He was charged with aggravated assault against an officer, attempted removal of a weapon from a public official, and obstruction of law enforcement officials. Our next suspect turned a peaceful situation into a violent one when she assaulted an officer at her home. Renee, on July 2nd, 2022, officers were called to a home by the parents of a woman who was showing self-harming tendencies. They arrived looking to help the woman, but she had other plans. The woman's mother met officers outside when they arrived and she explained the entire situation. I'm a diabetic and, and I always wake up not feeling good, so I, I, I get mood swings. When I feel like that, I just want to be left alone. But if it's not my husband and her getting into it, um, she, I told her, you have, I'm going to show you something. She has an appointment today um, with the behavior health in Carlsbad. And, but see, we have a problem. She don't have her insurance card. See, her appointment's at one with the behavior health. So, I guess that, so she having not seen us right now, or what's going on? Well, like, yeah, I guess. I mean, if she don't, if she don't get her way or whatever, it's, I'm going to kill myself. I'm up to here for that. You know what I mean? That's what she said. Yeah, she goes, well, okay, that lady called again. She goes, well, she no, 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 no weapons. When the daughter came outside, she made it clear that she wasn't going anywhere, especially to a hospital. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I was telling them that last time that doctor gave yeah. you health, showing your arms that because they didn't help you. It's not here. Yeah, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. And I'm telling y'all right now, I'm not being disrespectful because it has nothing to do with y'all. It's family issues, family problems. But I'm not going to this hospital to get rejected. Because they labeled me as, oh, do you use drugs? Oh, no, no, she can get started. She's yeah, good. That's, that's not right for the doctor to do that. Any doctor, any, anybody there. And they, they laugh because I'm asking for help. Do I have to do it the wrong way to get the help? After officers and EMTs decided they had to make sure the woman was checked out by a doctor, the situation took an ugly turn for everyone involved. The daughter refused to listen to anyone and maintained that she wasn't going anywhere. I'm not going to answer no questions. Can you look? Um, Liliana, you have to, you have to talk to them. The, the sooner you, you, you made a statement to the behavioral health line that you were going to kill yourself, I want to talk to this afternoon. You okay? I'm not going to the hospital, like I said. It's, it's not I'm my not choice, and hospital. the doctor gets to evaluate you. I'm not going to no hospital here. Like I said, I know I'm going to be disrespectful now. I'm not going to no hospital here. I'm not going with you or them. Those are your only options. I'm not They're going. Not I have options. a right to Roswell. Good, good hands. Okay, but that's them. They're here already. Are they seeing? Do they see blood on me? Do they see cuts? Do they see me hanging myself? Do they see all that? No, right? The quickest way to finish the situation is state your case to the doctor and participate. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to that doctor. It hospital. may not be the same doctor they saw you last time. It doesn't matter. It don't have to be the same. When the officer attempted to detain her, he got a huge surprise, and she earned herself an arrest. Oh, that's my hand, that's my hand. Oh. 
her other head. Hold on, stay right there, brother. Stay right there. We'll help you out. Okay. I got I got one hand. You mind grabbing the other one and pass the cuffs. I got you. Even after the arrest, the woman continued to resist police and medical professionals. Double lock him, did you double? Hold on, come on, come. hey! She was identified as Renee and charged with battery and assaulting a peace officer. Some suspects' bad decisions are fueled by alcohol, like the one in our third case. Kicking cops. At the Dallas airport on February 5, 2022, officers were called to deal with an intoxicated female who was trying to cuddle up to a random person at their departure gate. When they arrived, the woman decided that violence was the answer. The woman admits that she's not with either of the men she's sitting next to, so the officer decides to find out just how drunk she is. The answer was very. How are you doing today? Great. Are y'all together? No. No? Do you don't know him? No. No? What do, do you know where you're at right now? Yes. Where are you at? Dallas Airport. You're at Dallas Airport. Why don't you get up and come over here with me? Yeah. Get away from this person that you don't know, right. okay? We're ready. All right. Excuse okay. us. Excuse us. Fuck. What's going on? Mama. What? Literally. Come on. Right over here. What, what's going on? Tell me. Tell me what's going on. Keep coming. Right over here. Correct. I'm going to pop it as with her. Sorry. You all right? Right over here. Trying to okay. Shoes. Okay. okay. So tell me what. A fellow passenger tries to help the woman out, but he only makes it worse by revealing that she's been trying to cozy up to multiple strangers. We were just getting ready Thank to buy you. Have to are you with me? Are you with me? Yes. Yes. Look. Are, are, look. I, before listen, listen, he can she's speak. Okay. She's okay. Are y'all flying Thank together? You. No, we're not. No. I'm going to a funeral in okay. San Diego. We're just going to go and have a seat. I was she delayed was? and I am very sorry and she hasn't been really causing any problems. Okay. Well, just I can tell y'all both have been drinking a lot. Of course we have. We've of been, course. I've been here for two days. Okay. That you doesn't know? give you the right to, like, I've been told that she was cussing people out. That doesn't no, give me no, the right no, to do that. No, that okay. did not happen. Well, I mean, I have I to go off of her what a bartender told me. I we were told her I to love you. Like, I'm a bartender in DIA. And I told her, like, I am hitting you and whatever. Well, and how like, much have you had to drink today? She soon gets annoyed with the officer's questions things start to take an ominous turn. I was not in a lot. Okay, okay. Where are you flying to today? San Diego. San Diego. Do you have your ID with you? Yeah. Are you flying by yourself? Yeah. Okay. Do you have your ID with you? Yeah. Sorry, I was listening. No, you had time. I'm talking to you. I'm still waiting for your ID. Where's your ID at? That's it. Hey, don't be aggressive. I'm not. I'm hey. doing my job. This friend just f***ing died. I'm very sorry. I've had that happen. You're f***ing sorry. Okay. Hey. My friend died. Okay. Let me go. Let me go. Put your stuff you down, please. The officer tries to place her under arrest, and the situation gets full-blown violent. You're under arrest for public Stay right there. Stay right there for me, sir. I got it. Yep, you're good. I'm sorry. Oh, you don't. I have to do my job. Hey, hey. Hey, stop. 
stop it? <laughs> Do you want a resisting arrest charge added? Right now it's a simple ticket. You went from a simple public intoxication to assault on a peace officer. I tried to talk to her. She well, didn't listen to me. You talked, and that's what you did. By this point, she successfully turned a simple ticket into multiple charges, and she's acting like she wants more. Good job. Oh, you did so good. She f***ed up. I asked her. I talked to her. I asked her questions, and she was intimidated, and that's why she Spread your feet apart. Up. Yep, yep, okay, good job. Good job, babe. Oh, you do so good. Good job. Yes, yeah. good job. The officers searched her luggage and were shocked at what they found. <laughs> Here's the... Right, it looks like she, she got you like mid thigh. Yeah, All but right. it was up a little bit, but yeah. Well, she's got a lot of, that's probably going to be a part of. Yeah, we get yeah. the alcohol in. You mean something other than alcohol in addition to the bloodstream? Yeah. Yeah. To impair. Are you f serious? Why? It's not a power trip, just f let me go. All of the officers have been extremely patient with her. Dealing with someone who barely knows where they are isn't easy. Whatever. Wait. Is that all you have to say? No, it's what, not. What else do you have to say? I'm not f here. Okay. I don't belong here. And I'm supposed to go to a funeral okay. today. And I should go home. And I know she's mad and she's angry. No, she's not angry. Oh. No, she's not. I just talked to her. Uh, whatever she had to say was. Anyways, um, hey. What? It's not even about anything else. Okay. Like, literally, like, I need to just go home. Okay, well, you're going to go with this officer, and I suggest that you don't do anything in the back of this car, which adds additional charges. Her behavior gets even worse when they arrive at the precinct. Oh, you're so mad. She was charged with public intoxication, resisting law enforcement, and assaulting a peace officer. Now we head to normal Illinois, where a simple wellness check resulted in a violent encounter. Drunk man fights. On October 22, 2023, officers were dispatched to check on a man found sleeping in the driver's seat of an SUV. When he woke up, he wasn't happy to see officers at the scene and became aggressive towards them. Despite the officer's best efforts, it took him over a minute to wake the man. He was clearly very intoxicated. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Sir. He's up. Hey, sir. Do you want to get rescue out here? Hey, sir. It's the police. Is he breathing? Yeah, he's breathing. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Sir. How's it going, man? When he finally wakes up, the officer isn't expecting him to act in such an aggressive manner, and the situation gets out of control. You doing good, man? Hey. How you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. What's up? Hey, Parks. Excuse me. What's up, man? Yeah. Yeah. How's it going? Why are you getting out of the car? Hey, hey, what's Why going on? Hey, 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 hey. Don't hey. grab me, nigga. What are you Don't. doing? Don't you grab me, 
walking up on me like that? What? I, got, I walked up on you. What are you, are you doing, like man? We got calls. Yeah. We're just checking to make sure you're okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone just checking on you, man. Oh, you just hit me. There it is. Comes in. You just hit me. You're done. You just punched me in the face, man. I punched you in the face. This is a classic example of literally walking yourself into a serious criminal charge, and he likely won't even remember doing it. Okay. You got his arm? Yeah. Oh my, oh. Put your other arm behind your back now. Put your other arm behind your back. I don't do it. Put your other arm behind your back now. Put him in cuffs. Got it. What's your name, Joe? Officer Parks, OPD. Should we do it? Do you have anything on you, sir? Hey, gonna hit, hurt record up? this. Record this. That's all record, record this. Y'all is out, dumb. Ooh. Plenty of money. Come on, y'all. Y'all some stupid. Like so many criminals do, he repeatedly threatens to take legal action against the officers who were only looking out for his well-being. Superb. Officer Kozaneski, now sit in the car for me, man. Watch your head. I'm no all that. I'm, I'm, I'm not resistant. I know. Send Your drive is over with, stupid. Sit in the car. Sit in the car. Your drive is over with. Sit in the car. You Sit in the car. Your drive is over with. You dumb. Sit in the car. You dumb. I'm not, I'm not resisting. What you doing all that for? Your job's still done. You're pushing done. on us, man. Your job's still done, you dumb. You dumb. The man was identified as Carl and the officer attempted to explain what his options were when they arrived at the station, and Carl was determined to make everything as difficult as possible. All right, man. Step out? What? I can step out or are you gonna grab me? Nope, I don't wanna have to grab you, man. Like I said, we're just gonna walk in there. It don't matter, all y'all being already already. It don't matter. Like I said, man, if, if you're cool with us, we wanna be cool with you. It don't matter, you still getting sued. It don't matter. You, 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 right. And that's you your choice, man. That that's your choice. Alrighty? So I'm gonna get you out of the seat, all right? Yeah, I'm good. All righty. One second. All right. I'm going to have you hop out, man, all right? And then we're going to go inside those doors there, all right? I don't want to hop out. I want you to grab me. I don't want to have to grab you, man. I, want, I don't want to hop out. I want to hurt myself. I want you to grab me and, like, like get me out. I don't want to hurt you, man. Okay, if you hurt me, it's on you. I don't want to hurt hop out, though. I'm not hopping out. All right, so we'll grab your legs first, right then, man? Whatever you want to do. All right. So, the other side. Yep. Yeah. All right. We're gonna go do this first. Okay, so well, don't grab it too hard now. Yeah, we're not trying to, man. You're making it more grab difficult it than it has nah, to be. I'm not making s. Stand up. Appreciate it. All right, let's go, man. Watch the step, right? Yeah, okay, he's Carl was charged with felony aggravated assault, felony aggravated battery, and misdemeanors for DUI and resisting an officer. Our final case involves a drunk husband and wife team who both decide that violence is the answer to their problems wife attacks cop. Just after midnight on January 1st, 2023, bar employees called the police after a couple tried to leave without paying their $500 bar tab. When they were confronted, they both turned to violence. The assistant bar manager points out the couple to officers in the parking garage as they try to leave without paying their bill. Hey, come here. Sir, ma'am. Ma'am, you can stop pushing the line. No, no, they don't just, we're leaving. Calm we're down. Leaving. Calm down. They, they don't have Calm down. Tough, tough fat boy. Calm down. So tough. <laughs> we're ringing. We're out of the bar. Okay, we're out of the bar. That doesn't mean anything. Sir, you can't can you come talk him. to me? No. Well, you're not free to leave. Why? Because I'm investigating a battery. That's why. What I didn't touch anybody. Battery for what? There's I didn't an touch allegation anybody. of a battery, therefore you are detained until you are not free to leave. Who, who I didn't touch the person. I'm detaining him. I'm telling him he's not what? free to leave. Where is the Do you have your ID, please? The bar. It doesn't I didn't matter. touch a body of a human being. Do you have your ID, please? If the husband's attitude is anything like his wife's, this isn't going to go well for either of them. Listen to me for two seconds. He doesn't do anything. Call Uber. Yeah. Uber. 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 Do you have your ID, please? How is your battery? You didn't touch anybody. Stop talking. <laughs> do you have your ID, please? <laughs> You're Are required. You? Okay. Don't Hey, 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 h
It's not enough that his wife is in handcuffs. He decides to get placed under arrest right along with her. Don't do it, you're gonna get taped. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. It'll go easier if you stop resisting. You're not leaving now, you're going to jail. A bystander tries to help the cop figure out the situation, but she doesn't know what actually happened and only confuses the situation. Explain that to the cop. What's up? I was sitting over here just mind my own being. And he came out and ran after her and forced her. And she didn't do nothing. That dude. Man, that's a, that just like just she, she's so going wild. To jail, she's going to jail for something else. Oh. Okay. okay. So something right. unrelated to that. Oh. Right. She got an So what did you see about what he did? He pushed her. How, how she did he didn't do anything. How did he push her? Like that. Right down there. In the alleyway? Yes, sir. You know why? I don't know. He came out screaming. I don't know. I was like sitting there. And then I saw him because I was so loud. And he came after her. Now that the couple is in custody, the officers can get the full story from the bar staff. Okay. Um, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, he was dealing with it at first. I showed up behind the bar because I heard there was a commotion going on between my bartender. He was standing there. He kind of already had to deal with it a little bit. The bartender and uh, his friend in the white shirt were yelling and screaming at her, you, you know, and stuff like that. A lady called me over. She's on the wife. I just want to pay out. So I walked right back on That's over. The other lady. That was it was a different lady. Oh, yeah. Different lady. I think it was the wife of the guy that the white shirt okay. that he was with. Okay. And uh, I came back over, and the guy in the white shirt went to go swing on my bartender. And or tried to grab him, swing on him. His fist was closed when he did it. So I jumped over the bar, and that guy got it right in my face. And then he started telling me he's an MMA fighter, he's going to be dealing with crap out of me. Don't, don't intimidate me. You know, I'm like, hey, you gotta leave, you gotta leave, you gotta leave. I just kept saying you gotta leave. I get down to like two tables. I called 911 right at the same time on my phone. The wife is still trying to plead her case to the officers, but her story doesn't matter. She assaulted one of them, and there's no way to talk your way out of that. Tell me, Chris, you're a camera acting like an idiot. Well, I want to know what we need to do to, you know, this, because we, we, this is not what we do, When backup cars arrived, the couple was taken to the jail and booked. The specific charges they were held on are still unknown.